Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make YouTube Shorts using Canva. If you've ever wanted to create eye-catching, professional-looking Shorts videos without any complicated software, you're in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to whip up engaging Shorts videos in minutes whether you're making them for your own channel, a brand, or just for fun. So let's dive right in and get creative together. First things first, open up Canva. If you don't have an account yet, don't worry, you can sign up for free and it only takes a moment. Canva is super user-friendly, making it perfect for beginners and seasoned creators alike. Once you're in, look for the purple Create button, usually located at the top right corner. I know it can sometimes blend in with all the options, so take a second to spot it. Click on that and it'll launch you into a world of design possibilities. Next in the search bar, type YouTube Shorts. Canva is smart enough to pull up the exact dimensions you'll need, which saves you a lot of guesswork. This is really important. YouTube Shorts need to be vertical videos in that 916 aspect ratio so they show up perfectly on the Shorts shelf. If you accidentally choose a regular landscape video, you'll end up with those black bars on the sides and it just won't look quite as polished. So go ahead and select YouTube Shorts from the suggested formats. Now comes the fun part, choosing a template or a video. Canva has tons of vibrant, customizable templates designed specifically for shorts, and you can filter by style, color, or topic to find something that speaks to your content. Think about what matches your brand or the vibe you want to create, maybe something energetic if you're doing how-tos or something more minimal if your channel has a clean look. You can also start with a blank video if you want full creative control. Either way, selecting a strong starting point will make the rest of your design process so much easier. Once you're inside your chosen template or video, it's time to add some text. Click on the text tool and type anything you want, your video's title, a catchy hook, or even just a single impactful word. Don't be afraid to experiment with fonts, sizes, and colors to help your text stand out. Good text not only delivers your message, but also grabs the viewer's attention in those crucial first seconds. If you want to add more scenes, it's easy, just add another page and repeat the process. Imagine it like flipping through slides on a presentation, each page in Canva becomes a new moment in your video. You can switch up the text, images, or even the template style to keep your viewers engaged. Don't rush here, playing with multiple pages is a great way to build short, punchy stories or tutorials that viewers will love. Feeling a bit creative? Try adding transitions or other designs between your pages. Canva has smooth transitions that bring life to your video and make your scenes blend together seamlessly. Little touches like animated stickers, subtle fades, or fun background music can elevate your short from pretty good to genuinely memorable. Don't worry if it takes a few tries to get it just right, sometimes a bit of experimentation is where the magic happens. Finally, once you're happy with how your YouTube short is looking, head up to the share button in the top right corner. Choose download and make sure you select the MP4 format that's the best option for video uploads. It might take a few seconds to process, especially if your video has lots of effects, but once it's done, you'll have a ready to upload YouTube short sitting on your computer. And honestly, that's it. You've just created a sleek, shareable YouTube short using Canva all in just a few minutes. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more content like this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more quick and easy tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.